Hello, welcome to the Soul Print Weekly Pick Your Crystal Reading for July 31st through August 6th. Hard to believe we're already in the month of August. My goodness, time goes fast. Okay, so thank you first of all. Thank you very, very much for being here. Um, I really appreciate it. If by any chance you are interested in receiving a private reading, in the drop box below is an email address. Just send me a request at Soul print 888 at gmail.com and I will send you the information you need to have in you know so that you can um, think about having a reading or you know go ahead and, and set something up okay so today we have sort of really soft colored crystals so today we're starting with this beautiful um, it's a rose quartz it is very very um, it's a wand, but it, it, there's so many, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's all kinds of windows and, and pathways and stuff. And this is not a clear stone. It has a lot of activity going on in it. Very lovely. This is a very, very soft, gentle blue, almost a blue gray, but we're going to call it blue. And of course, then we have this beautiful clear quartz. So as always, take a moment, contemplate. Um, see which crystal seems to be calling your name or resonating. You may take one, two, or all three piles if you wish. Um, so go ahead, take a moment and pick your crystal. And let's get started, shall we? So, okay, so let's start with the rose quartz. Here we go. Page of Cups. Page of Wands. Judgment. Lovers. Okay. Kind of not supposed to surprise to see the Lovers card come up with a pink quartz because, of course, the pink quartz is one of those heart chakra stones. It is also a stone um, that is said to, you know, attract love, bring love to you. So, two pages right off the get-go. And both of them are really lovely. The Page of Cups brings you good news that is usually emotional um, in nature, more personal in nature. The Page of Wands brings you good news that is often work-related or related to um, words, actions, that kind, ambitions, that kind of, you know, just fiery energy. So you've got some really nice energy coming forward for you. Um, you know, good news sort of on all fronts. Judgment card is very nice in this position because honestly, it really does talk about um, a karmic blessing. Very, very often the judgment card is going to bring forward a, a blessing or a balancing. And so <laughs> this is really terrific. I mean, it could be perhaps you were waiting for some news that might be coming to, you know, um, in documentation form of some kind. So you're going to get movement, good news coming on that, and good news that's going to make you happy that it's coming. Um, the judgment card very much could be creating a sense of balance or creating a sense of um, <clears throat> reward or blessing. And the lover's card is, you know, kind of a lovely uh, way to finish off a, a good news week. So the lovers can often be about a relationship. It can be about a partnership. It can be about, you know, simply embracing love energy into your world. It can be about increasing the amount of romance that is in your life. And it doesn't necessarily have to be romance in terms of a partnership. It could be just in immersing, um, you know, the kind of feelings and energies that, that come around romance. 
um, you know, kind of that excitement and that looking forward to new beginnings and, you know, just seeing things maybe in not quite such harsh contrast, but in a more gentler way, you know, seeing things through a little bit through rose colored glasses, if you will. But this is this is like really nice energy because it definitely feels that if there's something you've been, you know, waiting for, um, it definitely looks with the two page back to back, it definitely looks like you've got some good news coming forward. And like, I, I, I don't really know what else I can say about this. I mean, it, it's just really nice energy. So whatever has been, you've got um, kind of good news, often new beginnings. You've got a recognition that there is some sort of a, a blessing, a reward, a gift that comes from. And then this, this more harmonious, loving energy that comes into play. If you are in a relationship, this, this speaks of, you know, a, a, a very nice period of time, a very gentle period of time where they're, you know, people are like sort of in harmony or in simpatico. Um, and that judgment, discussions, that kind of thing are going to be favorable. They're going to be, you know, accommodating or helpful. So this is a really, really nice energy going into the beginning of August. Like, wow, not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. Let's take a look at this beautiful gentle blue gray. Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. And the Ten of Cups. Well, alrighty then. So. The Eight of Swords very often talks about recognizing that you are in a place where it is your own thoughts and your own worries and your own anxieties that are keeping you from seeing clearly or being able to move forward. So it is not so much exterior energy that is keeping you feeling stuck. It is your own way of looking at things or processing information that is not really allowing you to see all the options and opportunities that really are there for you. And part of the reason for that may be that you, with this Eight of Cups, that you are recognizing that there is, it might be time to, to move forward. It might be time to leave kind of the path you're on and see what else is out there. It can be about acknowledging sadness or disappointment or something being unsuccessful. And that's like really, really important. It's important to recognize the messages of these two cards because it's talking about recognizing that the limitations that are being created are being created internally by your own fears or worries or anxieties. And that perhaps you may need to actually look at a situation and just recognize that it did not go the way you wanted it at all. There is there is disappointment there. Um, and sometimes you just simply have to abandon the path you're on and create a new pathway. As that, these two energies start to work and start to make sense for you, you are going to experience an amazing surge of energy and movement and just really powerful um, changes and shifts. The Eight of Wands is about communications. It is about receiving messages, text, email, phone calls, letters, documentation, um, whatever it is. It is about messages and information coming into you that causes a rapid 
um, movement forward in a positive way, taking you closer and closer to where you want to be, the road you want to be on, the journey you want to be taking. And that takes you to the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups card, honestly, this is about <clears throat> success. This is about, <clears throat> excuse me, a happy home. Um, you know, this is about um, commitment. It is about being content. It can be a marriage card. It can be a, you know, partnership card. But it is definitely a sense of sort of being emotionally content, finding that place where you really are happy. You can kind of look around and go, wow, you know what? I'm really good with where I am right now in my life. I'm okay with where I am. I'm happy here. So this is an interesting transition that you're going through here because one, it is about recognizing kind of the role you are playing in holding your own self up. Two, it is about recognizing that you could very well be holding yourself up because you don't want to let go of something that you really, on on some level, recognize it really is time to move forward. The situation has disappointed you or it's time is simply done. It's time for something new, new energy, new ways of looking at things, new ways of communicating coming forward. And with this eight of wands, this is about things changing rapidly for the better. And clearly it's going to take you to a better place if the next card down the line is your 10 of cups, which really is sort of one of the ultimate emotional satisfaction cards. It is one about being happy and very content, um, feeling very successful sort of on a personal level in terms of how you're feeling, where you're at. It's a lovely, lovely energy. So, you know, make sure that you are not creating blocks that don't need to be there. And make sure you're not hanging on to something whose purpose has been fulfilled. Even if the purpose was to show you that perhaps the path you had chosen was not the best path. And, you know, that's an interesting thing. I mean, very often we, we kind of look at things as if, well, if they didn't go the way we wanted, then that is a failure. And very often it is not a failure at all. It is simply the universe suggesting that there might be something much better in store for you. You simply have to stop long enough and look beyond. And whatever's waiting for you beyond definitely looks lovely and exciting and hopeful. So wonderful. And let's look at this clear quartz and see what that message is for you. Here we go. We have the Ten of Wands, the Hermit, Temperance, and the Nine of Cups. Okay. So the Ten of Wands is a card that comes along when the universe sort of wants to remind you that even though even though you are feeling perhaps overwhelmed, even though you are tired, you are almost at the end of this difficult patch. This is persevere, hang in there a little while longer because the light really, really is at the end of the tunnel. Now, the two higher arcana cards after that are the hermit and temperance. So the hermit is about that energy of self-reflection. It is about going quiet. It is about sort of soul searching. Um, it is sometimes about retreating and, you know, going internal so that you can actually see the path that you want to take so that you can 
sort of shine some light on what you were thinking and feeling internally. It's about, you know, self-reflection. It's about listening to your higher self, whether that is your higher consciousness or your soul or just kind of going still so you can actually just hear your thoughts. Temperance is talking about a balance. It is about creating a balance. It strikes me that part of this burden that you're carrying here in the Ten of Wands, it almost feels as if there was a lack of temperance, there was a lack of balance, and that in some way caused you to end up carrying a much heavier burden that perhaps was necessary or that you kind of almost intended to carry. And so part of what you are learning is that the journey you have been on that has been difficult. Um, you have learned the strength that comes from that. You have learned the wisdom that comes from that. You have learned to recognize your own sense of perseverance. And going forward, you are able to create a life that has a little bit more balance to it, a little bit more harmony to it. There is a gentle flow of the energy now. It is not a... Uh, it's not extreme to one end or the other, and it is there is just a, a very nice, um, you know, kind of movement, okay? Not too much of this and not too much of that. Now, the Nine of Cups is without question one of my most favorite cards, and it's, at, it's, it's for a reason. The Nine of Cups is a wish card. And it is about not only emotional fulfillment, but material fulfillment. It is about you making a wish that is more than, more than, more than you think you deserve more than you dare wish for, more than, so that the universe is able to deliver. You are only limited by your own sense of what you do or do not deserve in your opinion. And sometimes our opinions of, our, of ourselves are a little skewed, okay? <laughs> so the Nine of Cups card is wanting you to really think about manifesting that wish. But it's cautioning you to not sell yourself short. Because remember, the universe delivers that which we ask for. And if we are asking and we ourselves are putting limitations on it. The universe cannot give us more than our limited expectation. Think about that for a minute. It can only give us what we ask for, unless when we're asking, we ask for this or something more, something better. Do not, for God's sakes, it's a wish. It's a dream. Go for it. Make the best dream or the best wish you can. And trust that the universe already has it on its way to you. Okay, so thank you so much for being here for the Soul Print Pick Your Crystal Reading. Have a really enjoyable week. It looks like there's new energy coming for all three crystals. Have a good one now. Bye-bye.